Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to The Gamer Couple. My name's Sam, and as always, I'll be joined by 80 for today's video. Today, we're going to be showing you guys three ways to reduce anxiety in-game, and overall how to panic a lot less. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. Now before we jump into it, we wanted to give a huge thank you to ProGuides for partnering up with us on this video. As you guys know, we don't take many sponsorships on the channel unless we really believe in what the company does. ProGuides is an amazing website that has insane tips and courses to improve super fast in Fortnite. They have multiple pro players covering tons of techniques for literally anything that you guys are struggling with. If you have questions after a video, they even have players ready to answer them. ProGuides is an amazing way to improve quickly, and we highly recommend that you guys check them out. A link to their website will be in the description below. Now, anxiety and panicking is a completely normal thing when playing battle royales. The first reason for anxiety in game comes from lack of confidence. We start to panic and choke in certain situations because they take us out of our comfort zone. If you feel really confident on the high ground and then get outbuilt by another player, you'll instantly get nervous and not play as well. This is a terrible mindset to have and will actually make your anxiety worse and slow your improvement as a player. A way to combat panicking in these situations is to work on all the weak spots of your game. I used to feel really uncomfortable whenever I had to turtle up. To fix this, I started turtling every time I got the opportunity. This allowed me to work on fighting from inside a box, and this greatly increased my editing skills, helped me overcome choking in this situation, and now it's even one of my favorite positions to play. So if your shotgun accuracy needs work, jump into playground or an LTM and really practice it. If you feel uncomfortable on the low ground, put yourself in that situation more and learn ways to improve at it. Everyone has weak spots in their game, but if you identify yours and work on improving them, you'll have much more confidence in game and panic a lot less in difficult situations. The next way to overcome anxiety while playing is to lower the pressure you put on yourself to win. Everyone in the lobby is trying to do the exact same thing, and Fortnite has way too much RNG to only care about winning. We used to only care about winning and all this did was stress us out, made us improve slower, and put way more pressure on every single engagement. If you only go for safe drops and spend 10 minutes looting at the start of every game, losing the first fight you take will feel really bad. We realized that we were getting way better clips and more wins when we were playing for fun than we did when playing really serious. We're not telling you to not go for the win, but we are saying that playing for fun is much more enjoyable than stressing for wins. So don't be afraid to play aggressive. Put yourself in uncomfortable situations because every single one of them is a learning experience. Playing to improve will help with panicking and choking way more than playing to win. So next time you're feeling nervous about playing some solos, just remember to have fun, go for some crazy clips, and focus on improving. If you stop pressuring yourself to win, you'll find yourself panicking way less and playing much better. The last tip we have for helping with panicking is to play as much as possible. Now we know this sounds extremely simple, but this is the absolute best way to help with anxiety inside of battle royales. In real life, there's a technique called exposure therapy that is used to help people with anxiety. They expose someone to their anxiety source so much that it actually helps them overcome their fear. By playing tons, you'll expose yourself to every kind of situation so much that you'll actually start to feel confident instead of nervous. By getting 100% confident with your builds, accuracy, and edits, you'll see yourself choking a lot less shots, perfecting your builds, and even going for plays that you would have never thought about. Warming up is also super important when it comes to playing confident. Don't be afraid to jump into a playground for 10 minutes to get a proper warm up. After that, you can even play a few matches of an LTM until you're feeling really good. If you feel warmed up and confident in your skills, you'll have way less anxiety when jumping into some real games. To wrap this up, make sure you're working on all of your weak spots. Try to improve every game instead of just trying to win. Do a proper warm up before you play and play tons of games without worrying so much. Try to have fun while you're playing and don't take it too seriously. If you do all of this, you'll see your anxiety start to go away and you'll find yourself panicking a lot less. Anyway guys, it's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to never miss a Fortnite video or live stream. If you want to stay up to date with us, our Twitter, Discord, Instagram, and Twitch are in the description. And as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.